Hey, what's up, everybody? Fred Moore, Steel Mace Nation. What's going on? Uh, just on the phone with one of these um, experts in social media marketing, um, which I chose not to hire them. And I said, I'm just going to continue doing what it is that I keep doing. Just sort of organic growth and basically go at my own pace here. I'm not paying people a bunch of money to, you know, make fancy thumbnails for my YouTube channel and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, I did pick up a little information along the way. And that's what uh, the point of living is, is wake up and absorb information, share information too. Don't hoard it. Don't be a hoarder of information because if you think you know something special and you don't want to share with anybody, that's uh, a terrible mistake because actually exchanging information is the way to go. I give you information, you give me information, it's collaborative effort, and yay, everybody wins. But the point of my post here is that the guy was asking me about my target audience. Who is your target audience? And I was like, well, man, you know, I target everybody. I'm like a frigging shotgun blast. And I scatter and I hit everything in sight. He's like, no, man, you can't be like a shotgun. You got to be like a sniper. You got to pick. Like, what's your what's your top audience? I was like, well, you know, um, my top audience is like, like people in their 30s, 40s, 50s, men and women. And he was like, well, that's not good enough. You got you to gotta hone it in even more. He's like, what about firefighters? I said, yeah, firefighters, first responders. And he's like, okay, beginners or novices or intermediate, you know. And I'm like, yo, man, who gives a fuck? You know what? The message is going out and they will, they will find it. He said, well, you know, SEO marketing, hashtags and all that good jazz require you to know exactly where you're shooting you know again we're shooting sniper rifle here and i just don't feel comfortable as a sniper i feel more comfortable as a as just a brazen bull just kicking in the door and firing off shotgun blasts um it's gangster yo it's gangster so i did make a decision though i you know as far as like firefighters are concerned they're either going to want to train or they're not going to train and i am not here to frigging uh talk people into doing something you know i i am not this magic salesman that has the right words and the right message i'm not gonna all of a sudden touch off some secret deep inner nerve that nothing else has touched off i mean Jesus Christ, there's guys who are going to the doctor and the doctor's putting them on prescription meds because of their unhealthy lifestyle and the doctor's saying, you don't have to be on these prescription meds if you work out, if you exercise, if you run, if you eat carrots and friggin' salads every once in a while, and if you take a few vitamin C capsules once in a while. You could be off of this. And they don't care. They don't listen. They take the medication instead. They sit their fat asses down on a couch. They eat cheese doodles and ice cream. And they think everything is fine. Nobody is getting through to these people. And I'm not going to try. So that's for sure. And really, my message goes out to those who actually want to try. Those who actually want to do the work. Like me, you know. Um, people like me. And... Guess what? You know, I'm not perfect. I have my moments. I ate apple pie and ice cream like three days in a row. Three days in a row, I ate apple pie and ice cream for dessert. That is not what I planned on doing. My plan was to eat one piece of apple pie with ice cream on Thanksgiving, and that's it. And what I ended up doing was eating a whole apple pie, because we had extra, over the course of three days. And I ate it at night before I went to bed. So I went to bed with sugar in my gut which now is terrible for you, ter terrible for muscle gains, puts fat on, reduces growth hormone production, terrible for, for building muscle, completely doing the exact 
opposite of what I normally like to do and what I preach. So, you know, I'm not perfect. Neither is anybody else. But my audience is those who understand this and at the same time want to fucking try. You know, we're not fucking babies, you know, and I'm not going to baby somebody and talk to them or try to use like reverse psychology to get them to exercise. Fuck you. I got to do enough hard work just to get my ass going in the morning. I'm waking up at 430 to go train. You know, sometimes there's somebody there with me. Most of the time there's nobody there. Nobody. And I'm used to that. Because I know that the people like me who are out there at 4.30 in the morning in the dark and there's nobody else around them are years, light years ahead of the herd. Fuck the herd and fuck the herd mentality. Um, It's all about getting after it, being honest with yourself, and, you know, that's the end of it. You're going to either do it or you're not. And I'm not your magic vessel or your uh, mental therapist who's going to help you achieve this. You already got it in you. Your finger is on the trigger right now. And all I'm doing is pumping you up a little bit. And you're going to pull that trigger and get after it. That's the end. Goodbye.